The full review of chapter 1084 has come out and the attempted murder of a celestial dragon is honestly the wrong title for this chapter. Let's be honest, I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. The will of D has finally been at least alluded to and hinted to and we have some kind of basis now before all of the theories were basically based off just storyboarding and what made the most sense what, what the will of d could be the enemies of the world basically everyone kind of figured that the people with the d were probably the people that opposed the world government when they were first being founded at least something to that extent because two is clearly linked to the void century and there's just not much to go off of but we finally have a nugget the truth is a short letter penned by the queen has been passed down from one generation to the next so i'm gonna assume and elaborate on the theory that they were the enemies of the world government which i feel you could almost confirm that whoever their leader was was apparently a queen or whatever the other kingdom was was a queen and that was the letter that they used to mark perhaps this particular class of citizen a particular class of warrior or maybe just a social class which probably not a social class but it could also be a family which i don't think so i think the leading theory would be that it's to mark a warrior or a special group of higher ups within the kingdom itself and a lot of the other stuff we get in this chapter too the stuff we get with lily i think is to start setting up a major backstory the lily the former queen of alabasta if you're not familiar is definitely going to be a pivotal part in whatever that flashback we get is i believe we're going to see lily joy boy and of course emu all have some form of connection there Perhaps they were all friends one day. Perhaps Vivi is to Luffy what Lily was to Joy Boy. There's definitely a lot of speculation you can have there. But I feel like that's just some general storyboarding stuff that you can guess and have some form of merit behind it too. And just to talk about some of the other stuff in the chapter, the Sabo Bonnie stuff, although it didn't really say anything of consequence, you have to almost look between the lines a bit. And even though it set up how Bonnie got the egghead, I think the real thing that Oda really wants to make use of that moment is when he shows the guards talking about how they're all disappearing because they see the phantom room i'm assuming they're seeing emu some room that's not supposed to exist which then makes him have to kill them which is why i think cobra is of course gonna die so sabo is definitely seeing this because remember i'm fairly positive that we have to kind of assume this is from sabo's perspective to an extent of course he's not in all the scenes sabo definitely is going to run into that room himself too and with you just being clearly more blatantly out there we can directly see what the conflict is going to be and how it's going to shape up a lot more than we did before and now this whole placement and everything going on and why we've been cut off from egghead and seeing everything else makes a lot more sense now we know what the revolutionary army is doing we know what swords doing and we know where all the yonkos are and we know that the driving plot right now the main world event going on right now the battle between the world government with emu fully being revealed to an extent against the revolutionary army and some of the kingdoms that's gonna be the main luffy and the emperors and the one piece is what we're gonna see as the audience but at least now we know what's going on with the rest of the world so that when luffy does have to jump into that point they don't have to mess up the pacing at a time where there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff going on a lot of fights going on for a huge backstory and exposition whereas now egghead is clearly a slower arc a lot more time to develop things so it makes a lot more sense to get this little bit of setup now that's really gonna help us in the future because i'm assuming once we're cut off from this we're not gonna get it again until luffy is interacting with this whole narrative here a lot of the stuff we got here too was way better than the brief spoilers like cobra asking about what happened to lily we really know that cobra it wasn't on some curiosity he definitely had an idea that something bad happened to lily and that there was more to the story than what prevailed the fights in this chapter were actually really cool too especially with them fighting a celestial dragon to an extent the actual freeing of shirahoshi was a little bit more interesting the paneling was really weird like there's so many text bubbles and i don't mind it for the scenes with the gorosei but some of the other scenes it was like yeah i don't need all this dialogue but it was still really cool at the end of the day i was a lot more interested in it than i thought i was going to be and the sabo and bonnie are a pretty cool duo it kind of just makes sense for bonnie to be a part of the revolutionary army even if not and we also see her talking about egghead there too which obviously we know she ends up meeting up and them and kuma kuma is a lot more pivotal to the story than i really 
think he's gonna be and i almost feel like oda is tripping over himself with kuma i don't know just some larger plot with kuma he has cooking up but Kuma just being a frequent character is not something I think a lot of us expected, as well as really nowhere is going. It almost feels like Kuma was just there to give the revolutionary army a reason to move into Marie Jawa, and for Sabo to then learn the plot to tell Dragon and so on like that. Kuma is definitely an interesting character and a cool character that we all like, but I think he's almost being used in this sense. I could be missing something as well, which if I am, let me know down below. So yeah incredible chapter let me know what you guys think down below drop your predictions down below as well because there's so much we can base off off this little bit of information we got so that's all i have for you today we're just getting started we're gonna stay consistent and i will see you in the next video